video. <clears throat> well, it's been a while since I said anything about swaggers. Isn't that nice of me? Well, <clears throat> I'm kind of going to break that tradition now. I haven't seen a lot lately of what they've been doing, but I know they have a Bible thon, they have the uh, share thon, and all that stuff. Probably very monthly, like usual. And, um, <clears throat> you know, my biggest issue with them is that, bugs them enough, is that, like, with Deception Bites, the, the lady by the name of Michelle McCumber, I uh, found out uh, that their doctrine isn't what they, it seemed. And I was doing the same thing with what I understood and knew um, as far as the uh, uh, Jimmy Swaggart's expositor's Bible was concerned. Jimmy Swaggart used to go by the authorized version of the Bible. But several years ago, probably more than that, he decided to change it up and to um, into an, another version of the King James Version Bible a more word friendly type of version if you will uh, for him and his group and so then what he would do he would insert his interpretation in red letters then they started calling that the Expositor's Bible and so uh, there are a lot of people who help them work on it and everything. And every Bible thon they have isn't the authorized. They could say it's the King James Bible, but I've done videos on this before, and um, and you can see a lot of reference on there where it's not the authorized version of the Bible, and it's a totally it's something totally different. It's not that I'm trying to put down Swagger Ministries, and I don't think Deception Bites Michelle McCumber her video, her um, um, her um, her channel was trying to do that so much as to help get them back to the Lord Jesus Christ, to preaching the true gospel. And um, unfortunately, there's a lot of things going on with the apostolic, um, you know. Uh, what's that word? Resurgence or insurgence? You know, uh, across the uh, those who have faith, the, the faith of others is um, being tested and being um, tried by these people who claim that speaking in tongues is of God, is from the Bible. Um, but there, there's a loose misinterpretation on speaking in tongues, and the um, their version of speaking in tongues is uh, said by them to be better, or, or to uh, I forget how it went, but it's a. <laughs> in other words, if you speak in tongues, uh, you shouldn't do it in English. That's one thing that Donnie always said: not in English, don't do it in English, and. Um, you know, you don't have to have an interpreter because you uh, speaking in glossolalia, what you can call that, and I think that's how it went. And um, so, like Michelle McCumber said, that they stood up against pulpit preaching, pulpit pimps, you know, and um, now they seem to have had gotten into this very thing that they despise or preached against, rather. And it's sad to see because right when I first came here to Tennessee, started working at this place I'm working at now. Matter of fact, uh, I started listening to the, to the Jimmy Swagger semi broadcasting. Um, that was in 2008, late to November 2008. Um, the guy here that was training me, he uh, gave me a swear out of his father's Bible. And I thought, wow, this is pretty cool. And so I started getting in, see, it, it, there's a kind of uh, a, a blessing curse kind of thing with me listening to what the swaggers were saying. Uh, blessing and that it kind of helped pull me from the worldly doctrines. And a curse being that um, their Bible was manipulated by them to read what they wanted to read. So they were being, in a way, hypocritical. 
And I've had people complain to me before, oh, why, not, why are you beating down on them and everything? You're this, that way, blah, 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 blah. I've, I've dealt with um, people in Swaggered Ministries trying to give some kind of advice, and next thing you know, they're putting me down because they didn't know what I was doing. Uh, I got I ran into it with Donnie, Donnie Swaggart before. I did videos, like I said, on how they're taking the King James Version Bible and manipulate it to put it the way they want it and put it in their red words and stuff, you know, on their meaning and interpretation. Got several videos on that. And um, uh, I think it's still going on with them. They're still going strong. And I want to do more on it, but I don't have the internet access that I used to have at home. <laughs> And I don't um, have an expositor's Bible. That would be great to have. The one that I got from my son many years ago, I sent back to Gabe Swaggart sent me one for free because of a Bible thon and I was kinda I was texting back and forth. And after I got really into research and when I was really wanting to research, I'm like, no, nah, I don't want this. I sent it back to him. My son's but and I got my son a different one, uh, King James version without all that mess in it. Um, their expositors' interpretation. It was a crossfire Bible. But anyway, just wanted to share that real quick. Jimmy Swaggart's Bible is not the Holy Bible. It's an unholy Bible, and, and I'm not trying to say that to be demeaning towards the swaggerts it, it, but it is what it is and it's not the truth of God if it's a if they call it a King James Version Bible that's my big thing about it is if they call it the King James Version Bible and they protest to the fact hey this is King James Version it is not it is changed from the King James Version so they are lying when they tell you it is a King James Version Bible maybe unintentionally maybe unintentionally but they are lying nonetheless it is not the King James Version Bible Expositor's Bible it is. It is Jimmy Swaggart's Bible mixed with his notes. It is a uh, watered down and interpretate watered down translation, watered down um, version of the King James Version Bible. It is so close to the New King James Bible and other versions that they speak out against that is crazy. It's another version of the King James Bible that is not the King James Bible. It's just like any other version of the Bible out there that is not the real Bible, the authorized version. And so they're speaking against all these people who changed the Bible, but yet they themselves have changed the Bible. That's what takes me off. And it's not really so much I'm trying to drag them down or whatever, beating them over the head or whatever. It's just that they need to come back to the Lord with what's the truth, the truth of the matter, and quit trying to focus so much on getting sales and getting bigger and bigger and bigger, you know, trying to make a platform for themselves and not for the glory of God, which evidently is what they're doing. <laughs>